my thing is the dog, the Yorkie, but it's, it comes from the Yorkie's chocolate bar in England. Uh, it, <laughs> there might be a little bit more, a little bit of a controversy on this, but it says it's not for girls since it's all, my, all male acapella group. I didn't really know what Yorkies was. I, I'd never heard of the group before, but people said I get to sing, so hey. Um, so I showed up at the audition with my khakis and my button-down shirt. I thought like that group's really cool. Like I wish when I get here I could check them out, see what they're about. And so I got here, and then uh, Minjay, um, me and him, share the same host family. So uh, I met up with him. We had a talk, and uh, that's when I found out that he was the uh, head of the Yorkies, and I was uh, I was a bit bit more excited about it. So I, uh, I was playing a song to uh, a couple of the boys up in the dorm and uh, on the guitar and having a bit of a sing and they said, yo, like, you're like, you know, you're all right, like, you should try out for this Yorkies thing. Here, they did this crazy club fest thing where everyone would sign up for all these clubs and there were just a bunch of people just screaming and telling me to sign up for Yorkies, so I, I did it. I mean, I knew I was going to sign up anyways, but I did it and was, I had to audition. Well, audition meaning serenading a girl in front of tons of people, which was kind of embarrassing. How, how did you get into the Yorkies? I auditioned. And I was like, you know, I don't really know, you know, probably not good enough. Like, you know, 300 people going to audition, probably won't get in. And uh, Minjay decided to come down to the room one time and I played him the song and he's like, yo, like, you got to audition. And I was like, you know what, like, screw it, I'll, I'll give it a go. So I uh, signed up my name, went to the auditions, was sweating like a monkey. Uh, and yeah, got in, I suppose. The Yorkies are um, a uh, group of gentlemen who come together to take part in something more than singing, you know? Um, I like to think of it as a, as a brotherhood, as a, um, as a place where I can go to have fun, um, explore my identity. Um, <laughs> I don't know, we're not a cappella group, we like to say. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. We started out with Devante, Kennedy, Ben Romero, uh, and myself in the bass. Um, and then Hemong, Rem Remmel, Clint, Sam Hewitt, Angela Morlano, of course, and Augie, <laughs> Pietro, Peter Nelson, Adam Brody, and Ben Crone. Boom. <laughs> Someone like you in all you know and how you speak. Come as lovers under cover of the street. You know that I could use somebody. is probably one of my favorite parts of the week. The Yorkies, we, we get together and we just, you know, we have fun as, you know, 13 or 14 guys who just like to sing and we sing popular songs. Um, and it's just a lot of fun, the, the acapella arrangements. And we're kind of more like a, like a group of brothers than just people who sing. <laughs> We're a group of friends that sings, I guess, you know? Like, singing is, is second to just being great friends. I mean, it's still important, but it's, uh, there, there's the priorities that we have. With the Yorkies, I feel like, you know, we're, the, fr the friendship we have is, is really, really tight. Like, all the guys in the Yorkies, I call them my really good friends, you know? Every time I see them on the path, it's always like a, it's always like an elaborate conversation. And so I'll just like, oh, you know, I'm in the group with them. I'll be nice to them in rehearsal. But then when it comes to school, you know, I walk around like I'll just, you know, what's up? How's it going? But I feel with everyone and everyone in the group, like we're all just really good friends. We all get along. We all laugh together. You know, we, um, like I always say, you know, we're on the same page. And the thing I, yeah, the, the thing I like about it the most is that it's, it's like, it's like a sports team. You know, where 
they're not like your teammates, but they're like your best friends outside of outside of the team. And it does you don't get that a lot, you know, sports teams, music groups, anything, you're always gonna have two or three people that you've got conflicts with or the group's never gonna be quite there, you know, there's always gonna be a little bit of dealing like with the chemistry, but I feel with the Yorkies we're all just such good friends and like I really that's probably the thing I like the most is just our friendships. So I think performing with a group of people is a good way to get close to them without having to know them for a very long time. I mean, in just my first uh, term here with the Orkies, um, kids I didn't really know um, became my friends really quickly. And, you know, it's just, I think it's just going on that stage and putting it all out there for everyone to see is kind of like a very vulnerable experience. And like being there with everyone else, you can kind of uh, share that with them. And it's a very good way to get close to people recording with each other for hours and hours and through just like grueling through learning pieces and then performing you know we also work very hard for it you know two hours four hours um, two hours practice twice a week it's a lot of work oh rehearsals it's just long we have two hour rehearsals sundays and wednesdays that's just a lot of that's four hours every week it's a, one of my biggest time commitments we've i mean i can't count how many songs we've learned probably be close to like 20 songs which is phenomenal considering we only meet twice a week um, and at times, you know, great rehearsals get cancelled and people can't be there. As I said, it's all boys, so um, they fool around a lot. So uh, it's important to draw the line between having fun and creating a lot of good music. But, um, yeah, it's worth it. It's really worth it. does. It's really worth it. And, you know, you feel that kind of satisfaction and the feeling of achievement when you work hard and you work on a piece and you finally get to perform. So, you know, like we've done a phenomenal job to learn the amount of songs we, we, we have. And, um, you know, obviously Min Jae is a big testament to that because he's done a lot of hard work. But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, people, people probably look at us and think, you know, we, we, two, we practice two hours, we practice really hard and all we do is sing. But, you know, it's a lot more than that. Like we have fun. It's the process of learning the music, you know, like making it sound great and then delivering it is something that is really rewarding in terms of the relationships you get from it. Through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the Oh, Yorkling. Yorkling was definitely the most fun. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yorkling. Yorkling. Okay. Oh, Amen. Okay. Okay. Amen. Sex go. bandits. Oh. Hey, oh, we've been it. waiting for this day for so long. Okay? Three it's, it's so close. <laughs> These Guys, girls, they want us. They want, they want, they they don't want us. They want they it. They want to be on you. And we have it in our back pocket. We have it. We have the goods, boys. We got the goods. Yeah, leave it all out there, the okay? The Guys, this is our last. Inch by inch. This, is, this is our last year song. Camera, of 2011. look at me. Look at me. <laughs> These inches. Camera. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, hey, pick Yoki. Oh, what? What? Yoki. Yoki. Why am I saying Why am I saying this? Yoki. Big dig on three. One, two, three. Big dig. Yoki is basically a. The Yorkies as a group, we go around campus, uh, basically knock on girls' dorms and barge into the dorms and basically sing for them, uh, sometimes in return for cookies or brownies. Um, but uh, yeah, we basically go around caroling so around campus. <laughs> Yorkling is just, I, I'm pretty sure everybody will say this when you ask them too, but Yorkling is probably one of the most, one of the best moments in Yorkies. Nah. Oh. Like seriousness, the, one of the fav my favorite memories would have to be Grasshopper. We, uh, 
that was our first big performance. Um, we did Use Somebody, which at the time was our best song. Make you notice. Make you notice. Make you notice. I hope it's gonna make you notice. Make you notice. Make you notice. Someone like me. perfect and uh yeah that was that was probably one of my most favorite moments right now that was a lot of fun too like i said it was our first concert so we uh we did a few activities to kind of initiate a few guys and a lot of fun and um yeah those would be probably my two at the moment but i mean every 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 week brings a brings a new favorite you guys not confident in your part we have no, we know we know we can our part. Yeah, listen to the thing or <laughs> Okay, yeah, be loud. It's always the thing that comes with tenor, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, we can probably look up the thing. Doom, 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 Acapella groups, you know, they're formed in, in certain ways. I, I just don't think I'm ever going to find another acapella group like this. You know, we're all really, really good friends. We all get along. There's no power trips. You know, no one thinks they're better than that other person. You know, there's, there's nothing like that. And I, I'm just really going to, I'm really going to miss the group atmosphere. You know, I might join an acapella group when I'm home. I just don't think it's ever going to be the same. Uh, everything, really. Um, singing, being with the guys, uh, singing with the guys. Yorkling, Grasshopper, all kinds of events. Uh, but most importantly, I'll miss the people that I've sang with. My, my Pietro impression of Pietro is a funny guy. We like to uh, we like to uh, we like to banter a lot because we're both from different countries. He's from Italy. I'm from New Zealand. So he likes to you know kind of yell at me. I like to yell at him. And uh, you know I say things like like baba da beep the baba da boo you know because it's you know Italian baba da beep you know saying fettuccine yeah fettuccine meatball pizzeria you know so you know I like to speak you know like Italia I you know halfway to us I see Italia see Italia you know. And he is, you uh, know, uh, bottissimo, bottissimo, you know, and uh, mm, we sing songs, it's fun, you know, but uh, uh, why only one? Why only the elite? Why not everybody? You know, why only two? Why only two? You know, cazzo, cazzo, che schifo. So, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's him in a nutshell, you know. Pietro, all I hear out of him is, uh, is mozzarella, fettuccine, pizzeria, mm, bottissimo. So... That's, that's it. That's a little taste of Pietro Bondi. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Um, actually, also, I want to take this time to uh, do a little impression of, uh, of Adam Brody. Um, this may get loud, so bear with me. But uh, <coughs> if, if the guys in the group are watching this, I know you're going to appreciate. Uh, <coughs> I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. Yeah, Adam, I know you sound like that. Uh, we all do. Uh, Clint, I just want to do a little uh, quick one of Clint. Um, Some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Yeah, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. There you go, Clint, I know you love it. Ah, uh, Rem, <coughs> Rem. Whenever you're in trouble, baby, stand by me. It's important to get the uh, side neck there, Rem. We all know you do it, so don't try and hide it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to go on, but uh, you know, those are my best ones, you know. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys, uh, you know, they'll take it, they'll take it in a good way, but uh, I'm sure I've got a lot of mannerisms that they'd like to imitate, but uh, that's, uh, that's a little taste.